one of the lawyers for 29 police officers who were detained on Monday and referred to court for arrest in Istanbul on Friday has said there is no legitimate justification for the prosecutor's arrest demand. The 29 police officers, including police chiefs, who took part in two major probes of corruption in government circles in late 2013, were interrogated by an Istanbul prosecutor and then taken to the Istanbul courthouse following a health screening on Friday. In his remarks to reporters in front of the courthouse, the lawyer, Osman Erdurk, harshly criticized the charges against the police officers and said there is no justification for the arrest of the officers who had been detained. He the prosecutor in the case is talking about the coup attempt in the indictment. You are the prosecutor, haven't you opened the criminal code and read the definition of coup? It is defined as undermining the government by use of force. Where is the force in these incidents? They were just doing their job, Erdurk said. Former deputy chief of the Istanbul Police Department, Mahir Akal, and former head of the Istanbul Police Department Organized Crime Unit, Najmi Art, are among the officers who were detained. Art is currently an independent candidate in the upcoming June 7 parliamentary elections. The Istanbul-based operation reportedly targeted police officers who worked for organized crime and intelligence units. According to the Doan News Agency, those detained are accused of forming an illegal organization and being a member of an illegal organization, political espionage, forgery of official documents, illegal wiretapping, documenting personal information and deleting computer data. Erdurk claimed that the prosecutor in the case is not relying on the principles of the judicial system but rather is acting according to his own views and the views of those who are attempting to manipulate the case. The lawyer underlined that injustice has risen since July 22 last year, when the detentions first started. The Sahin News Agency reported that the police officers went to the courthouse amid high security. The courthouse has been surrounded by police barricades against possible protests and a large number of water cannons and riot police have been dispatched to the area. Erdurk also stated that the interrogation of police officers was being conducted by Istanbul 5th Criminal Court of Peace Judge Sevdet Ajkin. The interrogation had not been completed by the time today's Zayman went to press on Friday. As a result of the graft probes that became public after police raids on December 17 and 25, 2013, four ex-ministers involved in the probes resigned, while dozens of people, including senior bureaucrats and the sons of three then-ministers, in addition to businessmen with close ties to the government, were detained. Afterwards, dozens of government-orchestrated operations targeted the police officers who had conducted the corruption probes. The operations against the officers are widely seen as targeting the Gülen movement, inspired by Turkish Islamic scholar Fethullah Gülen, also known as the Hizmet movement, which President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and government officials have described as a parallel structure within the state. Erdogan, who has described the graft probes as a plot against the government, has accused the Gülen movement of being part of the plot, but has not provided any evidence to support this claim. Art S. Wife, government labels us parallel and spies to cover up their own dirt. Family members of police officers have spoken out against the detentions, saying the charges against their family members are baseless. These detentions took place because he tried to touch the ones who hold power. They labeled us parallel, and spy to cover up their own dirt, Nare Art, wife of police chief Art, said. She continued saying that anyone who tells the truth is being silenced by the government, however, she vowed not to remain silent. They cannot silence us, if he falls silent, someone else starts to speak and I start to speak, we have no intention of keeping quiet until this struggle ends, Ard stated. The officer's wife also voiced disappointment over the indifference of the Turkish nation to the oppression of a certain sector of society that is being carried out. She said the whole country should pay attention to the operation and underlined that pro-government media sources brainwash people. I want our whole nation to see this oppression. The indifference of people saddens me a lot. The pro-government media hypnotizes its watchers. People who watch these stations become convinced of the government's stories and support them. My husband appeared on TV and said what happened, 
but people didn't see these facts. Everything was revealed, with there the officer's proof, Ard said. Ard reported that her husband also had an active role in the Ergenican coup plot case, on which then Prime Minister and current President Erdogan gave direct orders, although he now denies his involvement in the case. They are doing everything to deceive people. The judiciary, the constitution, all remain just words. Now everything depends on what those people will say, she added. The former police chief of Stanbul Organized Crime Unit, said GOK, was also among the police officers detained on Monday. His wife had a CGOK claimed that police officers are instructed only to investigate small-scale robberies. My husband and his friends had to turn a blind eye to robbery in the 2013 investigation. We have a clear conscience. Those who see the country's property as their own should be the ones to be ashamed, GOK stated. So-called fugitive police chief says no one came to arrest him. In remarks to the Sahan News Agency before he turned himself into police on Thursday evening, Police Chief Ali Kavlik, whose name was on the list of those supposed to be detained as part of Monday's operation, said that pro-government media reported for days that he had fled, however, no one came to arrest him even though he was waiting at home. This nation will learn in the near future who is a traitor, coward and spy. This nation, which is hypnotized with the mantra of, they are stealing but at least they are working, will learn who works and who steals, Kavlik said.